On behalf of AWS and Kerasoft, we would like to welcome you to today's podcast session for our federal podcast series, where Ben Slavin, Senior Vice President of Strategy and Design, and Vincent Sharps, Chief Business Officer and Executive Vice President at MindGrub, will discuss pros of custom app development versus off the shelf. Vincent, the floor is all yours. Hi there, and special thanks to the team at Kerasoft for having us. I'm Vincent Sharps, CBO at MindGrub. We're a full-service digital agency and Kerasoft partner, specializing in custom digital solutions for the public sector. Ben, why don't you kick us off by sharing a little bit about MindGrub, our work with government agencies, and what we'll be discussing today. Sure, Vince. At a high level, we'll be talking about how listeners in the public sector can be sure they're making smart choices for their software roadmap. MindGrub has been working with federal agencies since we were founded in 2002. We focus on digital product development, marketing, and interactive and user experience. We also provide enterprise application development and support services and regularly work with emerging technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality. Outside of our public sector practice, we've worked with a really diverse set of clients, including leaders in higher education, healthcare, cybersecurity, retail, and even national utility providers. We found a lot of value in applying the lessons we learn from our work with those clients to projects for our state or federal clients. And today we'll be answering one of the questions we often hear from public sector clients when they consider their investment in their digital experience. Specifically, should they invest in building a custom application from scratch or is there more value in an off the shelf software solution? Ben, let me guess. The short answer to that question is it depends. You're right, Vince, it does. But I, I think we can break down the pros and cons of each option, give our listeners some questions to ask on the path to making a decision. Excellent. Let's start with the basics. How do we define an application and how are they being used by government agencies and their constituents? So an application really is a piece of software that allows a user to do something. There are web-based applications that run in a web browser. You can think about most times you've logged in on a website and desktop and mobile applications that run either on your computer or a mobile device. A lot can be done with web applications these days, but native desktop and mobile apps can usually offer faster speeds, better overall performance, and access to advanced functionality. I should also mention that web applications are distinct from websites, which are usually focused on either marketing or disseminating information. If you're looking to publish a blog, share information with the public about topics and programs, or publish contact information, then a website is your best bet. If you're looking to enable collaboration, provide digital services, or give your users a tool that lets them explore data and information, that's a perfect fit for an application. Just one example that we've worked on recently is the NASA Space Apps Challenge. We built a custom web application that enabled them to run a global hackathon that connected more than 25,000 citizen scientists with each other that really allowed those citizen scientists to explore and work with data to solve challenges that NASA identified uh, and wanted to put in front of them. So Ben, let me get this right. Once you've determined that your goals for engaging with your audience will be best met by developing an application versus just a website, you're faced with the question of custom versus out of the box. How would you define those two options? Great question. So a custom application, which is what MindGrip specializes in, is designed and engineered from scratch. Every feature of the application is developed specifically to meet the needs of your agency and your users. 